All right, so in this problem, we are given a system of equations, and we want to solve it by finding the values of our x, y, and z. So when we are given a system of equations with three expressions, we want to pick one of the expressions. Let's say we pick the third expression here, and we see what makes up this expression. In this case, we have a z plus x. Now we'll take a look at our first two expressions and see how we can isolate these two values to plug them into our third expression. So in our first expression, we are going to isolate the x, and in our second expression, we are going to isolate the z, and once we do so, we are going to plug them into our third expression. So in our first one, we are going to isolate the x, so we have x equals 5 minus y, and in our second expression, when we have to isolate the z, we have 4 minus y. All right, now we're going to take a look at our third expression and plug the z and x values in. So instead of z, we are going to write 4 minus y. And instead of x, we are going to write 5 plus 5 minus y. And all this equals 3. Now we're going to combine our like terms. So we have 4 plus 5, which gives us 9. And we have negative y and negative y, which gives us a negative 2y equals 3. Now we are going to subtract 9 on both sides in order to isolate the y. So we have negative 2y equals negative 6. And now we just have to divide negative 2 on both sides in order to isolate the y to find its value. So we have y equals negative 6 divided by negative 2, which gives us a positive 3 because a negative and a negative divided by a negative gives us a positive. All right, so now we have the value of y. And now we just have to plug them into our first two isolated expressions. So we have x equals 5 minus y, which is our 3. And so 5 minus 3 gives us 2. So that's the value of x. And now to find the value of z, we have z equals 4 minus y, which is 3. And so 4 minus, one, uh, four minus 3 gives us 1. All right, so the value of our x, y, and z, z. So we have x, which is 2, y, which is 3, and z, which is 1. So these are our values for our variables, and these values correspond with answer A.